put my Benelli right on there. Boom! Not two hours into the trip, our bearing seized up in our trailer. The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Rough to that one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I think the pattern's a little tight. You think? Yeah. Hey, right. welcome this week's choice. This week, we're going turkey hunting down in Florida with Uncle Hoppy and us little outfitters. Yeah, and we're taking a whole bunch of people. That's right. We're having a whole bunch of fun, and well, guess what the lucky logo is? What is it? Hoyt. Hit them where it hoits. That's right, so watch for the Hoyt logo, and we'll let you know what to do at the end of the show if you find it. And you're Pretty gonna cool. win all kinds of cool stuff. Very cool. Well, we had one heck of a trip getting down to Florida. Oh, my I mean, gosh. if anything could go wrong, it went wrong over and over and over. But we had a great time once we got down there. We had our good friend Jim Zumbo and we got Freddie out there. We got Don Lind out there from McMillan River. I mean, we had so much fun down there once we got there. But let, let's just get into this because this is the, what, what do you call it? A trip from? It's an adventure. Let's go. We're in our truck and we're heading south. Not two hours into the trip, our bearing seized up in our trailer. Well, we had to turn off. Uh, we're about two hours away from home. We had a little mishap. We blew a bearing on the trailer, and the lady's yelling at me on my GPS. I never liked her either. Recalculating, recalculating. So we're going to try to find a garage and see if this can be fixed. We're four hours delayed. So with the two hours from this morning delayed and the four hours today, we're only six hours behind schedule. We're still in Illinois and we got another five hours of Illinois. We finally got back on the road and that was just the beginning of the trip. Hour number two today, checking my emails. We only got 12 more hours to go. The second day, we got driving again. We're all excited. We go to get around Nashville and get in a major car accident. In fact, Freddie was just filming rush hour traffic on the front end of the dash, and he actually got the accident on film. We just got in a wreck. Unbelievable. We, uh, I, I thank God that he gave us quick reaction because there was no way we were stopping. We were going to plow into the back of a, a green pickup truck. And I saw a little bit of a gap, and I figured the best thing to do is try to take it to the left and took it. We, we sideswiped a, a little white car. They're okay. But, uh, They're okay. okay. Wow. The big guy upstairs was definitely watching over us on that one. Um, just outside of Nashville. It's been one heck of a trip so far trying to get down to Hoppies. Um, blew the bearings in the trailer yesterday. Today, almost ate the back end of a pickup truck, and instead of eating the back end of the pickup truck, Ralph with his reactions. Actually, all this is all the damage we have. Hey, you know what? We're all okay. The only problem we had is that we all puckered a little bit in our seats, but thankfully he's got quick reactions. And uh, we're okay. Uh, we're lucky that that didn't turn out a lot worse than it was because we were real, real close to having a real bad wreck there. This morning driving, we got in an accident in uh, Nashville. You got into an accident. We were all passengers in the car. Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> They've, they've grounded me. So they put me down here, I'm passenger, and I'm watching all these vehicles pass me and it's driving me nuts. 
All right, this is the longest trip ever in a truck. We have two hours left. <laughs> oh my, we finally made it. Oh, wow, what a trip. <laughs> We're finally here. You're finally here? <laughs> I slept in this morning. What's the problem? <laughs> we finally made it. How's it going? Huh? Good, 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 good. By the time we got down here and, and right here in Deer Park, we couldn't wait just to go out and go turkey hunting and get something down. Hey, welcome back to Choice. Now, let's get into my home. Well, first morning out, down here at Osceola Outfitters. We got Hoppy in the truck, Jimmy in the truck, Ralph and Freddie in the truck. We're gonna have a pile of cameras and hopefully the gobblers are gonna work with us. <laughs> we sat there, we heard some goblin going off and Hoppy started doing some owl hooting. And what he ended up doing was, I believe, he ended up calling right some there. of those owls oh. right above our head. The audio was amazing. Yeah, right there. <laughs> well, it's the first morning out down here at Osceola Outfitters. We've got like three or four owls right above our head, just hooting away. We have gobblers over kind of behind us. We're hoping they're gonna come around over here. The fog is now settling in, so we'll just sit and see what happens. Hoppy's thinking, we're in the wrong spot. This isn't going to happen. We know we're going to have to move. Well, as soon as he starts thinking that, we have a whole bunch of Jakes come running through. They weren't real sure what was going on, but they didn't want to hang around with us too long, and they took off. We sat there for a little longer. I mean, it was a long morning. We sat there for quite a while, and I believe it was almost 10 o'clock, 10.30 in the morning when finally he sees a gobbler running towards us. Sure enough, this big old gobbler and another gobbler come running in right to the decoy. And the one gobbler just did like a sidekick, just whack and knocks the decoy over. It was amazing. Well, I go and I put it, as soon as they'd spread apart, I put my Benelli right on there, boom, and I missed. what happened, but there was a lot of dirt. There was an explosion and some dirt and turkey in the air, giggling and laughing. I didn't think it was all that funny, but Vicky seemed to think it was funny. Well, then um, I said, you know, the turkey's still in range. Shoot the thing again. I flinched. Sure enough, as that bird's walking away, I hit the trigger again, and boom, and this time I hit that bird, and he went straight down. I flinched, and I missed him. I was like, okay, wait, there he is again, there he is again. And then I, I got him right there. I can't believe I missed him. <laughs> I always laugh at everyone that says they miss turkeys with shotguns. I screwed that one up. <laughs> that was funny. Well, it's the first morning out, and I mean, first we had a lot of action, had heard a lot of goblin, and then it kind of slowed down, and then we had seven jakes come walking they through, and right through, and messed around here for 20 kinda, minutes, and kind of died down again. When quickly. that boy come up over that dirt bank, and I see, I seen the like the look on his face and his way he postured, and he he's turned, like, uh, and I thought, oh boy, it's on, and he's seen that strutting decoy, and bam, he's in. Oh my gosh! Well, he came in, and then. When they were coming in, though, you said, hey, Vic, um, I want you to shoot the second bird, the subordinate right. gobbler. And I was like, OK. I'm like, what, what does that mean? Thanks. Everybody focuses on a strut and turkey. And then the other guy that's the subordinate, which is what I call the lookout man. Yeah. The lookout man is always looking out for the guy that's strutting, who is getting all the women. So he's, he's smart, but he's 
just missing right. a little bit. If he knew he could get Big Boy knocked off, then he could take over the harem. But like you said before, but then they don't realize that the Big Boy is knocked off, so you're gonna have a couple, a week or more a week or two before, before he, he realizes that's he's the one that can right. come out there and right. pick up the hens. So, so I actually just made Ralph's turkey hunting better. Yes. Well, I don't know about better, but we killed a turkey that we wouldn't have been able hey, to get I got, later. Hey, I got a year. turkey down, and it's the first morning, so I mean, I'm not going to complain. Burn the hands, better than two. That's people. right. <laughs> and I mean, look at those are really nice spurs. Good job. Thank you, Hop. Thank you so much. We, uh, we won't talk about the first shot, but uh, <clears throat> you, Oh, yeah, I flinched. Mm, yeah. He let out a gobble, and Hoppy said he's coming. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to Facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. Can you say it took Vicky two shots? Hmm. Now we're going to check out what Don does. You know, Don's from Alberta. He's just getting into turkey hunting, and I believe he's hooked. Oh. All right, well, we, we got Dandy Don here, and he's never been here in Florida hunting. And the first thing he said, you know, they're from northern Alberta. He's like, man, it's hot here. Huh? Wait, it's very hot. But we're taking him turkey hunting. He's going for his Osceola, and he's taking a Benelli. He's never done that either. We're like, this is really? like, yeah, Alberta virgin. I am a turkey virgin. <laughs> First night out, we went out and did a, a setup for a turkey. And within 10 minutes, we had a gobbler, a good mature gobbler come running in. Unfortunately, he came in directly behind us. Uh, we never had an opportunity at him, but. You were gonna look at him, did you, Don? No. I thought you were going to. I said, he was going to. Yeah, he was coming good. He was just about, I could tell, this time, to a spot where I could see, but I never did get a look at him. The next morning, we were up bright and early, well before daylight, had breakfast and coffee, and headed back to the field. We were set up in the dark. We were in a little island of bush, and had our decoy set in front of us. We sat there for a while and, and interacted vocally with the birds. And then all of a sudden, off to our right, two hens come running into the clearing. And we thought, oh, here we go. Immediately, that gobbler that was behind us reacted. He let out a gobble, and Hoppy said he's coming. Changing in a hurry. <laughs> no. <Good> job, <laughs> oh yeah. Nice. nice, nice, nice. Let's see what we got here. Oh, he's got a nice big beard. Thick beard. Hmm? Beauty. Let's see what he's got back here for business. He's a three-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be a three. He's got sharp spurs. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Super. Congratulations, hey, brother. That's <laughs> awesome. Anyway, hop. Yeah, man. Cop. <laughs> The choice today was to take the TC pistol and we got on these hogs, these hogs were feeding. There, were, there had to be close to 15 hogs and I mean, they were just feeding back and forth.
I see the red one. You know, we were going to try to take the dry sow and this boar. We, we heard him going, and then we all of a sudden, have to go, here's the boar, here's the boar. Right out of it. This is wild. We shot this and practiced with it. My ears are ringing. <laughs> wow, he's down right there. He's, he's thrashing. I see him. Yeah, there he is. Right there. I said, right there's the big sow. And I look and I said, there's the boar. boar come trotting up and he, he run up on that little knoll just perfect. And Hoppy goes, <laughs> and just stopped it, man. And he stopped right there. And, he, you know, I'm like, okay, boom, baby. <laughs> TC. I walked in like this and I'm like, Ralph, no, put it like this. Like you're taught not to shoot a bow and arrow. But if you lock it like so, you can hold it steady. Even on that, if you can lock this back end in, you can hold it steadier. Let's see your arm. It doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't. Look it. No. It, it doesn't go. <laughs> it stops there. <laughs> oh, go scratch. Let me go get my. Oh my Let's gosh. go get the hog. Well, I can tell you this. I have hunted hogs, I think, with pretty much every imaginable thing you could think of. And now we just did it with the TC Contender. And that was fun. It's a little harder to hold these steady. You know, when you, you shoot at a target, you got more of a well, steady I re rest. I remember when you went several years back from bow and arrow to made the change to a gun. Yep. And you weren't comfortable then. No. And now you're comfortable shooting a gun a little bit. And now you've changed again. It's like shooting a bow left-handed when you've shot it right-handed all yeah. your life. I mean, it's like, doesn't doesn't feel the same. It's all fun, and that's why we created the choice. But what's cool is it's just we're hunting with everything. It's legal. Why not? Let's have some fun. And that's a 22 250 caliber, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, you see what it'll do. Huh. Congratulations on your hog. Thank you. That was pretty cool. You know what? I'll tell you. Again, when we're, we're trying all types of different ways of hunting, that pistol hunting is tough. It's all about the choice. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, to hold that thing steady, mm -hmm. you'll... Mm -hmm. So do you think I just need to aim lower or do you think I need to maybe pay more attention to shooting the target, not talking? Well, first off, you no know, talking would be great. It really would be. <laughs> and secondly, aiming low, you know, the way you just turn everybody's world upside down, I Thank think if you. we just turn the gob, your target upside down, you might hit them better. That's why I put in the search which to turn your world upside down. Hey, if you happen to see the lucky logo, which was Hoyt, log on to thechoicetv.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to win a Hoyt plus a whole bunch of other great stuff. All kinds of stuff from That's Hoyt. Right. This is cool. Well, guess what? Next week, we are heading back. Back. Yeah, we're back heading down back. The hops. We Be got the emotional Freddy we and got Freddy. one of our great friends. Mr. Jim Zumbo. He's always wanted to go hunting with us and he want he wanted to bow hunt but what we did is he said he said he'd never shot anything with a crossbow so we gave him so his choice and we'll see how that goes and just so you know you can't pick on my shooting abilities until you see next week with freddie that's all i'm gonna say that's it oh, that's, that's it. so thank you for mean. making your choice the choice we'll see you next week that's so mean poor well, you know, fred he's probably crying he's crying yeah, i'm gonna go i'm gonna go oh that poor guy yeah